Well, I guess we are married. I got two for one. I got a beautiful wife. Yeah, that is right and you better not forget it either. What's the other one? Speak up. What? Does a spotted leopard got your tongue or something? Well I'm waiting. Nothing can beat me can it? I knew it. Well, I was going to say, we have a great business here and it's going great. I only wish I were here earlier because it would have saved me a lot of money and headaches. You are the best honey. I'm glad I met you. My wife. Why you getting angry for? I love you. You know that right? It's not you. Do you remember when you had that sale last week, rent one day get one day free? Well some farang dipstick hasn't brought back our moto it's been two days and I need to go to the police station and file a stolen bike report on that foreigner. I don't like foreigners. They all lie, cheat, steal and are bad people. Let me handle this. I will go to a collection agency and get the bike back. Most foreigners are nothing but dick-nosed dickheads. Did I say it right? I'm going to a collection agency and getting the police report filled out. Did someone say they need a collection agency? I'm so there and I'm bringing Violent A with me as a backup. I can't wait to kick someone in the nuts. Gretchen, this time can you film it and get their eyes? It's funny when they roll back of their head when they start singing the Star Spangled Banner. It's so patriotic. I think with my knowledge of Korean writing, I will start to use it for pronunciation. I've been studying up on writing and if you just remove a few things then the pronunciation will be better. For example, after the J sound and a CH sound like in beach. You have to use the long E sound. So it sounds like beachy and orangey. This can't get any easier than this. Okay, class we are going to speak the word orange. Ready. Okay, orange. Orangey. It's orange. Not orangey. Let's remove the E sound from the word so you can see it. Okay, one more time. Orange. 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 Correct. This went better than I thought until Mr. Naysayer showed up. He would rain on anyone's parade if he could. What in the name of Black Pink is going on here? What? What are you writing on the board? You don't write like that. It's wrong. I tried to explain that I was teaching pronunciation and the E sound needed to be removed. He would have none of that. He would insist I write in proper Korean or not at all. What a jerk. It flew over his head. So I get to the hotel at 11. Now I have to be to the station at 6 a.m. to go back to Phnom Penh. This bull sight happens. We sat there from 6 a.m. to 11.30. Five and a half hours until the bus filled up. Wouldn't you know it, the bus broke down twice on the way to Phnom Penh. I finally arrived at 9 p.m. Word of advice don't take that bus company Soria Transportation. It is a red bus and the red is a warning not to take it. Worst weekend ever. We finally arrived on Andaman Island. We plan to spend three days here and then off to Nicobar Island. There are roughly 300 islands in this archipelago. These are undoubtedly the most beautiful islands in India. I can't believe the palm-lined, white sand beaches, mangroves and tropical rainforests. It is beautiful. The coral reefs support marine life such as sharks and rays. Maya and Caroline want to snorkel with the sharks. I will bring a knife. One island we won't visit is North Sentinel Island. No one is allowed to go there. It is too dangerous. This is a beautiful island. I wish we could stay here. The three of us together. You mean the five of us, right? Thank you for joining this week. Please come back next week for more exciting episodes. As always, please like and subscribe. See you next week.